What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel, dude. Believe it or not, iOS 13 has been out for a solid week now and I've had it installed on all my devices for pretty much this whole entire week. I've had it on my main daily driver for about two days now. I know I, that's crazy. I would really, really suggest you guys not to download iOS 13 on any main device. But I couldn't help but do it and I've had it for about two days and I want to preface this whole entire video by saying I like iOS 13, okay? No matter what I say in this video, I actually like it. I think the features it's going to bring, all these different things, I don't know why it's getting so bright all of a sudden but all these different things that ios 13 is bringing i like it i love it a lot but i just kind of want to talk about some of the issues that i've been having <laughs> Again, this is a beta, so expect it. And I'm not saying this to like bash on iOS 13 to say, oh my God, it's so buggy, this or that. I'm more so just addressing the problem so Apple can fix it. So by the time it officially comes out, you guys won't have to deal with these problems, if you know what I mean. But so far, I'll definitely rate it probably like a seven out of 10 for being a beta in terms of stability. There's definitely some key things that are kind of annoying about it, but for the most part, it's pretty stable, still nowhere near daily driver material, but not that bad. The one thing I kind of want to hit on is immediately is probably just the phone overheating. With iOS 13, I've noticed this phone has been overheating a lot, especially Especially when I'm playing like a basic game like Bloom's Tower Defense or something, that's not a really high intensive game. Every time I play it, it usually overheats like crazy and I even still have a case on it and even heats to the case itself, which is pretty crazy. So this phone definitely overheats a bit on iOS 13. I've had a few bugs within iMessage. Sometimes there's like double characters. So like sometimes this icon, the cancel icon will show twice up there. Sometimes the plus icon will show twice. Not really too sure what's going on there. <laughs> Not like a massive one. I mean, it's not affecting anything at all, but it is kind of a little bit of a thing. I've had some issues with the swipe typing as well. It's pretty inaccurate as of right now. I definitely do think Gboard is a little bit better, but once these updates keep going through, I definitely think it'll kind of soften out and become better and better throughout, you know, the betas and everything. Within the last two days, I've had it on my main device. I've had two re random reboots, which are super weird. Um, one of them actually glitched up when I was multitasking. I hopped out of one thing and then it just randomly rebooted. And then I had one yesterday as well. On my other devices, I haven't had that issue necessarily. So maybe it's just, you know, once you're using it every single day, you kind of see these things. But within this device, I did see that random rebooting twice. Another thing, like whenever I was going into Bloons Tower Defense and playing it, which I usually never even played, but I've just been playing it these last like week or so, and I go into a different app of some sort, usually when I like try to hop out and multitask out of this and I hop out, I do get into some glitchiness going on. I'm not too sure how to replicate it, but let's say I just go into it and I hop out and I just want to like multitask. You can see it kind of glitches up a little bit, but usually it was like really, really bad. Like it would just totally like disembobulate all of the icons. <laughs> I know that's not a word, but it would really mess up my multitasking pin. So now to like have to hop out and then go back into it and then I would be able to swipe out. But that's not that crazy of a thing. It was just kind of more of like a weird looking thing than anything. One major thing I had was actually for my AirPods, for some reason, playing songs through my AirPods on iOS 13 has a bit of delay, which was kind of weird. Like I would be playing a song through Spotify and the song would be delayed about like one second. So usually it's like on point as soon as I flip a song, it would like immediately switch over. But in this case, when I was playing a song, it would actually be at least like a two second delay before it would actually notice I'm playing a different song then switch over to it. So not a humongous thing either. I definitely, at least I got into the song, but th that was kind of a weird thing that was going on there. Another weird thing I noticed was actually within Instagram. So if I'm playing a video or listening to a story on Instagram and I usually put the volume up, usually it would be able to just put the volume up on Instagram as well. So usually all the videos and stuff are muted until you actually physically put the volume up. And when I was doing that, it wasn't even playing the songs or videos through Instagram, which was weird. So in order for me to actually enable it, I'd have to like go into it and then tap on a video and then it would start playing. Usually on the other hand, I would actually be able to play it increasing or decreasing the volume. So that was weird. Maybe that's what the new update on Instagram or something but it was working before and once I updated it that was another little weird thing that happened so maybe the volume pen doesn't really go into these apps and you know increase the volumes in those apps as well so maybe Instagram is one of those cases another strange thing is actually within face ID so if you go into the lock screen usually and you swipe up you would usually see some sort of like lock screen you know like how you see on the main screen so you see that unlock button right there or that un un like the lock key whatever when you swipe up usually that would be there too and when you unlock face ID that usually would showcase that it was you know unlocking for you but in this case it doesn't show it not a humongous bug like it doesn't matter but just another ui element that isn't on ios 13 and hopefully they fix it another thing i showcased a few days ago was actually for such being a bit slow as you can see you know with ios 12 it was pretty instantaneous as soon as you tap something it would like immediately go into it but in this case it's actually pretty slow like i forced tap into it and it takes like an extra second to register again not these things aren't like the end of the world or anything but hopefully with these updates they kind of smooth things out a little bit two last things i want to hit on if i'm like putting my phone on a table or something and i just tap the screen 
screen on, it won't actually shut the screen off until I physically like shut it off. So I might be able to demonstrate it here. It doesn't like automatically turn on or turn off sometimes. The screen turns on, as you can see, it's still on, which it shouldn't be. Face ID isn't unlocked or anything. So that's another really weird thing with iOS 13. It doesn't automatically dim the screen or shut it off. So it just stays on forever, I guess. And this last thing I want to hit on is actually battery life. Believe it or not, the battery life on iOS 13 is pretty bad so far. I would usually be on like at least like 60, 70% even on this day. Like I wasn't even using my phone that much crazily today. Like three and a half hours, that's usually like average. As you can see, the battery did dip quite a bit. And throughout my last usage on my like other phone, I didn't see the battery life being too bad. And with iOS 13, I am seeing that it is taking a pretty big hit on the battery life. So what I'll definitely tell you is it's not the end of the world and it's getting bright yet again. <laughs> iOS 13 is definitely going to get better throughout, you know, the betas and everything. But as of right now, for daily driver material, I would not recommend it at all. It's going to bring tons of cool features. I'm super excited for it. I'm happy for it. But I would definitely recommend you guys do not install this beta. It has a lot of ways to go. But throughout this week, I think it's been a pretty solid update and it's going to be one. But there's definitely a lot of bugs they have to fix out and I literally cannot wait for the official version. So that's pretty much all I wanted to hit on so far. If you have any other questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it would mean so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those things are linked down below. I would really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out everyone.